We start with the complex number in the first term, 19 plus 7i divided by 9 minus i. Multiply and divide this with the conjugate of the denominator, that is 9 plus i, and therefore this number is equal to 171 plus 19i plus 63i plus 7i square in the numerator divided by 9 square minus i square. Now i square is equal to minus 1 and therefore this expression is equal to 164 plus 82i divided by 82 which simplifies to 2 plus i. Similarly, the complex number in the second term, 20 plus 5i divided by 7 plus 6i, we multiply this with the conjugate of the denominator, that is 7 minus 6i, and therefore this number is equal to 140 minus 120i plus 35i minus 30i square divided by 7 square minus 6i whole square. i square is equal to minus 1 and therefore this expression is equal to 170 minus 85i divided by 49 plus 36 which is equal to 85 and this simplifies to 2 minus i. Therefore, the given expression 19 plus 7i divided by 9 minus i raised to the power n <coughs> plus 20 plus 5i divided by 7 plus 6i whole raised to the power n simplifies to 2 plus i raised to the power n plus 2 minus i raised to the power n. Now let 2 is equal to r cos theta. Now let, now let 2 is equal to r cos theta and 1 is equal to r sin theta. Dividing the two equations, we get tan theta is equal to half. And taking the square of both equations and adding, we get r square is equal to 2 square plus 1 square, which is equal to 5, which implies that r is equal to root 5. Therefore, 2 plus i is equal to root 5 times in brackets cos theta plus i sin theta and 2 minus i is equal to root 5 times in brackets cos theta minus i sin theta where tan theta is equal to half. Therefore, the given expression 19 plus 7i divided by 9 minus i whole raised to the power n plus 20 plus 5i upon 7 plus 6i whole raised to the power n which is equal to 2 plus i whole raised to the power n plus 2 minus i whole raised to the power n can be written as root 5 whole raised to the power n multiplied by in brackets cos theta plus i sin theta whole raised to the power n plus root 5 whole raised to the power n plus root 5 raised to the power n multiplied by in brackets cos theta minus i sin theta whole raised to the power n. Take root 5 raised to the power n common and inside the brackets using the Moyes theorem we have cos n theta plus i sin n theta plus cos n theta minus i sin n theta. Inside the brackets, 
the imaginary terms cancel and this expression simplifies to 2 times root 5 raised to the power n multiplied by cos n theta where theta is given by tan theta is equal to half. Clearly, this is a real number. Clearly, this is a real number, which is the required result.